the role of currency symbols in shaping national identity and the global economy. Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're diving into the topic that you might not think about often, but surrounds you every day, currency symbols. We've all seen symbols like the dollar sign or euro sign, but have you ever wondered where these symbols come from or what they represent? Believe it or not, these little icons hold more power than just it represent, just representing money. They are um, symbols of national identity, history, and influence in the global economy. I find it mind-blowing how a simple symbol like the dollar sign carries hundreds of years of history. It's like every currency note or coin in your pocket tells a story that connects economies, politics, and culture. Let's start with where these symbols come from. Most currency symbols have historical or linguistic origins. Take the dollar sign, for example. Some believe it evolved from Spanish peso, where the S stood for shorthand of pesos, and the two lines represented columns on ancient coins. Meanwhile, the British pound sign comes from Latin word libra, meaning weight or balance. I love how symbols that seem so simple today actually carry deep, unexpected roots from ancient times. It's incredible how something as modern as the dollar sign can trace its origin back to old Spanish coins. Currency symbols often carry meaning beyond economies. They reflect national pride, political history, or cultural heritage. The yen symbol, for example, symbolizes Japan's early modernization in the 19th century. Similarly, the euro is more than just a symbol of money. It represents unity among European nations signaling the shared identity of the European Union. It's interesting to think about how currencies represent much more than value. The euro is one of the most and my favorite examples. It's not just about trade, it's about unity and cooperation across Europe. Every time I see it, I think about how symbols like these can shape the way people feel about their countries. Some currency symbols have a global reach. Far beyond their country of origin, the US dollar sign, for example, is recognized worldwide and plays a leading role in global trade and finance. It's often referred to as the world's reserve currency, meaning many countries hold dollars as part of their economic strategy. It amazes me how the dollar became such a powerful force in the global economy. It makes you realize that currency isn't just a national issue. It's a global one. And every time you see that dollar sign, you're looking at a symbol of international power and influence. But not every currency gets the same spotlight as the dollar, euro, or pound. In countries like Nigeria or Nepal, currency symbols reflect local history and values. For example, the Nigerian Naira was introduced after the country gained independence, symbolizing a fresh start for the national economy. The Nepalese rupee connects the region's historical trade links with India and Tibet. The Pakistani rupee has an intriguing history that reflects the country's journey since its independence. After Pakistan gained independence in 1947, it initially used Indian currencies stamped with Pakistan while the government prepared its own coins and notes. By 1948, Pakistan introduced its own rupee, which has since become a symbol of nation's identity and economic development. The rupee is subdivided into 100 pesos, though coins of smaller dominations are now rarely used. Interestingly, 
the designs on bank notes feature images of pakistan's cultural heritage and national heroes such as qaid e azam muhammad ali jinnah on every domination symbolizing unity and patriotism over the years like many other currencies the pakistani rupee has faced challenges due to inflation and currency devaluation however it, it remains a key part of the country's economy trade and daily life I think these lesser known currencies are fascinating. They may not have global influence, but they carry deep meaning for the people who use them every day. It's a reminder that even the smallest currencies have a story worth telling. Now, let's talk about the future of currency symbols. With the rise of digital currencies like Bitcoin, where we are seeing a new era of symbols entering the financial world bitcoin's symbol was designed to mimic traditional currency symbols giving it a sense of legitimacy and trust but cryptocurrencies also challenge the way that we think about money they exist outside national borders which makes them different from the symbols we we known It's crazy how symbols like Bitcoin have emerged so quickly. Just a decade ago, Bitcoin wasn't even on the radar and now it's a part of financial conversation worldwide. I think we are witnessing a shift in how future generations will view money and currency symbols. Currency symbols even show up in places you wouldn't expect like sports and diplomacy. When athletes compete internationally, currency prizes often symbolize a world's wealth and prestige. In diplomacy, currency discussions can become political tools influencing everything from trade deals to peace treaties. To me, it's interesting how currency affects so many parts of life, even things like sports and travel. It's like currencies are part of a global language that everyone speaks even if the value changes from country to country. So, what do these symbols really mean? Currency symbols are more than just signs or paper or coins. They carry the weight of history, culture and economic power. They reflect the past, shape the present and influence the future. Whether it's through trade, identity or global politics. Did you know that the world's first recorded use of paper money dates back to 7th century China during the Tang dynasty? However, it wasn't until the Song dynasty 11th century that paper currency became widespread as a solution to the inconvenience of carrying heavy metal coins. Merchants and traders found it much easier to transport lightweight notes, which were initially backed by the value of, of precious metals. Interestingly, this innovation took centuries to spread to Europe where coins remain dominant until the 17th century. Today, the idea of lightweight money has evolved even further into digital currencies and cryptocurrencies. It's fascinating to think that a concept born out of, of practically centuries ago has transformed the way we perceive money today. I think understanding these symbols gives us a deeper appreciation of the financial world around us. It reminds me that every symbol, whether it's the dollar sign, the euro or bitcoin, represents more than just value. It tells a story about the people, culture and history behind it. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure hit that like button and subscribe to the channel for more deep dives into the fascinating topics. What's your favorite currency symbol and why? Let me know in the comment below. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.